one man, tossed eternally into the wilderness, where he must forge all his weapons and armour using resources from only this area, taking on some of RuneScape's most feared monsters. All this was being able to be attacked by any other player at all times. But who would take on such an adventure through these treacherous lands? I present to you, Wildernator. Previously, on the Wilderness Only Iron Man series, we went up to the Lava Dragons to get ourselves some Lava Dragon Bones to increase our prayer level at a later date. We also made some money off the Onyx Bolt Tips. We then took ourselves off to the Revenant Caves, which were unusually quiet. This meant we were able to get some decent loot. We also did a mining and smithing grind in getting ourselves level 53 crafting and level 63 smithing. This is really going to help towards our level 73 smithing goal in the future. We also did ourselves a little bit more bossing, getting our Venonatus kill counter up. And finally, we finished off by getting ourselves 100k adamant arrows from all our LMS points. And well there, hello guys, and welcome to episode 21 of the Wilderness Only Iron Man series. Since my last video, Jagex have actually announced that the Revenant Caves are getting a bit of a different mechanic in the sense they're going to be roaming around the caves. That's something that is going to be happening in time. So I think what we're going to do to start this episode off is go up to the Revenant Caves whilst they're still the way they currently are. I do think that the new way will actually be better, but just in case it's not, let's go see if we can get ourselves any goodies up at the Revenant Caves. So that was actually a really decent trip up at Revenants. We did almost die at the end or we got attacked by a PK at the end, but we did manage to get away. And this is the biggest looting bag I've ever had of goodies from Revenants. And that is just absolutely beautiful. Without any sort of big drops, that is by far our best ever trip at Revenants. As you can probably tell by my naked body and absolutely nothing in my inventory, second trip up at Revenants didn't go quite as lucrative, quite as well as the first. We did end up dying. That was our last Power Ami, so I think what we're going to be doing now is some crazed archaeologists to get back some Power Amis and see if we can land another shard. I think what I'll be doing first to get the most out of my prayer restore potions is going to be um, going up to the Chaos Temple and using the lava and the big bones we've got, see what prayer level that can get us to. We are currently 47. First level coming in with 48. 49 prayer. Nice level to get. 50 prayer. This is very 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 upsetting 51 and i just realized on the way back that guy left my lava dragon bones which is absolutely beautiful whoever you were thank you so much 52 prayer which is obviously the level for smite that's level 53 and i'm pretty sure that's going to be our last level because that's all the um, lava dragon bones used up now but from 47 to 54 really cannot complain at that pretty common but it is what we are after and there is our first amulet of power coming in we got 272 kc oh shit i was just about to record because um yeah i just realized that i got quite a nice drop from these two things um and yeah i've just been attacked by this geezer and that's kind of concerning because he has now tb'd me um i don't have much food um and he's just asking me i'm just gonna see if i can walk under him and uh see ya <laughs> what do you mean don't worry of course i'm not gonna worry because i've just logged out mate as you can see from the chat there we've just got ourselves level 78 hit points that is another trip done at the crazed archaeologist unfortunately this time we didn't get ourselves a power rami but we did get plenty of emeralds so the crazed archaeologist alone absolutely sustains the tellies that we need to the ferox enclave and with the kill of this crazy archaeologist this is going to be kill number 300 for a prayer potion this will be our third fedora on the account, and that's a 1 in 128 off these guys. And the very reason why we're here, another amulet of power. Always nice to see some crafting XP and rings of jeweling on the ground. And this is a really nice <laughs> drop to get, which is one we've tried for loads of times in the past on lots of videos, and that is the red dehyde body. And it's really nice to have a backup one, because I do kind of have a little tendency of losing these things. This has been an absolute huge trip up at the crazed archaeologist. We obviously got our secondary red dehyde body, so we do have a spare one, which means we can risk one, which is actually going to be really nice of ending artists, because it means I can take full prayer restore potions and I don't have to worry about losing it, or I can lose it and I do have a backup. We also got some rune crossbows, some food, onyx bolts, the fedora. Yeah, all in all, just a really nice trip, and we were up there for quite a long time. And the red dehyde bodies are coming in thick and fast now. We are pretty much out of food. Sometimes it's just unavoidable. Those little um, balls of fire from a crazy archaeologist hit you. But we're going away with a little bit more loot in the looting bag. And yet another spare red dehyde body. Kill count 349. We are picking up Fedora number 3. 
As you can see from the chat box, we just got ourselves level 67 defense, and that's pretty much all been from mage casting. And this kill will be kill 366, and this will mark our last kill, as you can see. Oh, nice one too, 12 on a spot, so that's nice um, for cash. We are we did risk it for a little while, we've got absolutely no food. We've got lots of goodies in the loot and bag, and three amulet of powers. We are now up to six amulet of powers, so that's going to do for the time being. We've also got three red hard bodies, so we've got two spare ones, and we've got the ever-growing stack of rune crossbows, so we've got plenty of those. With the Crazed Archaeologist finished up, we have had a Black Demon's task for quite some time now, so I think that we're going to go and do that one. So, an absolutely massive thank you to this guy, just playing some LMS, and he comes and just says, come to the bank afterwards, and he's offering me a bond, so that's absolutely huge. Thank you so much, mate, I really do appreciate it. With the Crazy Archaeologist finished up, we decided to take our surplus amount of Red Dehyde bodies to Venonatus, because it didn't matter quite so much if we died, which meant we could take full Prayer Restore potions. And also, that being paired with quite a quiet time of day, I wanted to go and see if we could get ourselves any worthwhile loots. It'd be better if they were like, eh, eh, like that instead, then they wouldn't worry. <laughs> Don't worry, because when he dies, he just respawns 10 seconds later. No. So he's never ever dead? Never ever dead. Is he even getting me at all? What? Is he even getting me? No, he's not getting me, I'm safe spotting him. But I'm not hurting him, don't worry. He's putting him to sleep. Just putting him to sleep. He's gonna wake up in So this was just a really unfortunate couple of minutes. So basically this guy comes over, I've nearly got the Venonatus kill, he hits him with recoil, which then means that I can no longer get the kill, which is really frustrating as I almost had it. So I decide to go back to the Enclave and just let him have the kill. As I'm running back down to the Enclave, I run into a PKR. How unfortunate. Let's see how this pans out for Old Wilden later. So somehow we actually made it away from that PK. As you can see, I dropped the GF because I thought I was going to die. That whole clip's just really funny to me because the way that I run out of run energy and then he runs out of run energy, which gives me gap and the way I just very slowly walk away from him for the escape. Yeah, really did find that quite funny. But the, the important thing is we managed to get away and that is absolutely what I always say about this account. I absolutely love you. Just never know what's upcoming and just you get funny escapes like that. As you can see from the chat box, we did get a kill, but unfortunately it wasn't our loot, so someone must have recoiled or run past or hit it as we are banking or what have you. Uh, this guy gets on us, and I do like toying around with these guys at Venonatus, because Venonatus can output some decent damage, but as soon as I knew I could get a gap, I gave it boots and run away, and I think for now, that will do us for Venonatus. So, after escaping back from that PKer, I tell you back to the Farrakhs Enclave, and I got a new music track, which is obviously incredibly strange, because... 
I come here all the time and I just teleported from the wilderness by the green dragons where I always am. So I looked at the hint on my music thing and it said unlocked at Tavoli Dungeon. Obviously I haven't been there. Um, part of like the thing that I like about music is it proves I haven't been to places. So I'm quite precious about them. So if anyone knows how I unlock that teleporting from the green dragons to the Ferox Enclave, please let me know. So, something I've been wanting to do for a while is get back to our 73 smithing grind and hopefully we're going to be making a bit of a dent in that. Obviously, something that's been frustrating up here is having to carry all the gnats to superheat, but I've now got 70 rings of forging. That 70 rings of forging is pretty much 10,000 iron ores, it's 9,800, which is going to save us pretty much 10,000 nature runes, which is, I think, about 2 mil, so it's, it's a lot of money. So that's going to be really beneficial. It's pointless having any sort of food or anything up here. One, because the more space, the better the trips I can do. But two, because if I die, all I'm going to be losing is one ring of forging, because so I'm going to be taking one of them and I'll protect the rune pickaxe. First level coming in, 64 smithing. And there we have ourselves, 60 mining. We are in the middle of a Black Demon's task, following a small bit of smithing. The smith and I will just do passively and bit by bit. And we're in the middle because I got away from PK. It was a very suave, nice getaway. Um, but unfortunately, the file corrupted for whatever reason. So you guys aren't going to be able to see that. But just to keep you updated, we're in the middle of a Black Demon's task. And so far in the looting bag, we've picked up some nice goodies and some rune items. We just got ourselves a genie lamp, and this is quite a nice genie lamp, and the reason behind that, it gets us a herb lore level. And the herb lore level in which it gets us now means that we can make prayer potions, which aren't as beneficial as they once were with the introduction of Last Man Standing, but it's still an incredibly nice level to be getting. After a few interruptions from PKers, we've now got our Black Demons task done. Crystalia, what's our next assignment going to be? It's going to be 77 Chaos Druids. So when we do get round to that one, that's obviously going to be the Elder Chaos Druids again. Hopefully land another piece. We've got a friend here called Air. He's the general in the chat and he kind of runs a Discord and things like that. He's about to get 87 um, wood cutting. It's a die requirement. He's going for the die requirements. So he just saw me online, so he thought he'd get it with me. So grats on uh, 87 Air and good luck on the rest of those die requirements. First trip finished up at the Chaos Druids and we collect a lot of vials of water because really this is one of our only viable ways to get vials of water. Obviously we can collect the vials that we use from potions and things like that but we have to run them all the way up here to fill them up so if I can collect them already full of water it saves us quite a lot of time. We also picked ourselves up a Laurent's Key which is always nice to see. And as I bop this Elder Chaos Druid on the head we have got ourselves level 81 range. We are close to finishing up this task with just 13 left, but we are getting ourselves a second Laren's Key. Elder Chaos Druid task finished up. Still no pieces yet, but two Laren's Keys on that task. Really can't complain. It's always a nice one for herbs and things like that. So it's always a good task, good Slayer XP. Enjoy that one. The next one is going to be 65 Revenants. Let's see how this one goes. Just a few kills in. Oh, and now I'm being attacked. Quick grab the Laren's Key. Oh, and I am most certainly dead. Here come the boys. Oh dear, this has not gone well. I just pulled up the recorder to basically say that uh, I'd got myself a Laren's Key, but here come the cavalry. Uh, the Revenant Caves is always a dangerous place, but unless they've got some sort of freeze or something, there's a good chance that I could be getting away here if I can just stick on the old, uh, the old prey range. Let's see what we can do here. And yes, it turns out actually that that was quite a straightforward escape. So remember boys, always bring your mage. Always bring your mage or you're just not going to get them. I mean, that was like the world's shortest trip ever up at Revenants. I think I killed about 10 of them. But you know, all in all, that's, that's a pretty nice little loot. We got ourselves a Laren's Key, Bracelet of Ethereum, some Adamant Bars. That Laren's Key was from a Revenant Imp, which is actually a 1 in 1,700 drops. So a very nice. It might just be the time of day, but it seems every single world that I'm hopping to, there is a small group of PKs, and I'm just unable to kill like one or two more revenants. And as you can see there, we just got absolutely slapped by those boys. 
whilst it seems everyone's getting their last little pk fix before the revenant caves get a new setup and things like that it just seems to be really really busy it could be the time of day as well so i've decided that i am going to cancel this task just because i'm unable to kill any but you know in the couple we killed we actually got like a larin's key so i really can't complain that so Crystalia, what is our task going to be 86 mammoths and we are about to bop him on the trunk for 65 attack and with that kill, that is this task finished up. We're trying to melee what task we can so we can get the combat stats to eventually be able to do Vetion. And our next task is going to be 108 Earth Warriors, which again is another melee task. That is our Earth Warriors task finished up, and that got a 66 attack. Crystalia, what have you got for us next? It's going to be... <laughs> Let's try Revenants again. Let's see if they're a little less busy at this time of day and whether we can do them. I don't mean to leave a spoiler for anybody, but it went very very badly about revenants let's pretend like that revenant task never happened so our next task is going to be 141 ice giants now as you can see from the chat box there we just got ourselves a level 67 attack cost on this ice giants task and the thing about that is we've also got ourselves 1200 total so only 50 levels from the total level worlds well, that is the ice giants task finished up with crystalia what have you got for us next no larence keys in that one's 83 bandits it's going to be a skipperoo 87 Hellhounds. That's going to be one that we're going to complete for next episode as we are coming towards the tail end of this episode. Just before we get into the goals list, if you are enjoying the series, consider subscribing, click the bell icon and you'll be notified as soon as I upload. And if you'd be kind enough to like, I'd really appreciate it as it does help my video be seen. As always, we're finishing things up by looking at the goals list. We are improving on our melee stats episode after episode to hopefully get a Vetion kill eventually we're continuing to kill some of the demi bosses we did quite a lot of the crazed archaeologists and hopefully eventually we will drop one of those wards we're not taking anything off it this episode however we are continually working towards it as always i really hope you enjoyed the episode i had a load of fun making it and until next time guys thank you very much for watching and goodbye